These are the cardinal seats. This is the only time I will sit in there because it's an Aquascape customer. I'm out of here. Chicago. Ooh, Toby. So when I see this, I see vlog challenges. Every job has its talents. Every job, even vlogging, has its challenges, but we'll make it work. So we are in St. Louis, and we are with Chris Suing, a longtime certified Aquascape contractor and former Artist of the Year. Chris! How you doing, Greg? Good so, to see ya. So excited to be here. When did we come here last, this pond? I think this was last year. Okay, I don't know if I want to go to any more. I know I do. This is absolutely spectacular. You guys are in for a huge treat. Let's go check it out. This is one of my favorite ponds. Okay, that's good. So now... <laughs> I love it. Look at that rock right there. I mean, so here is the garage. When they pull in their headlights, this is the first thing that they're going to hit right here. Look at that frame rock right there with the... It, Looks like the grass is growing out of the top. Just so incredibly natural. To have the vision to put this right here next to a driveway, I mean, it literally looks like you just picked it up right out of the middle of a forest and put it right back in here. We kind of are in a forest though. This is a beautiful setting. It was designed with that in mind. We had the wood line down below. We created a negative edge so that it appears that this feature just started up at the corner of the house and then continued all the way down into the woods and you don't know where it stops unless you actually have to walk down into that area. I need is the iced tea. There you go, iced tea. The like pond guy, Greg Whitstock. Putting a beer, I don't know about iced tea. <laughs> we were here, was it one year ago? It had to be longer than that. No, it was last year. You were out of town, so we had about yeah, three hours. Okay. I think we hung out here. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a long time. This is absolutely spectacular. Well, good. I'm glad you like it. How long have you had this? It's been here about nine years, I think. I'm sure it doesn't look as good as what it did the day you did it, but in, you oh, know. it looks better because everything's grown in. You know, in nine years, you get weathering on different things and uh, yes. unfortunately I, I lost an oak tree there but i'm thinking that that oak tree might part of it's going to go where we put a log originally chris put this log down yes. here but after nine years it's ready probably for a new log This is a huge water feature. How much work is it? Really not very much. It's not bad at all. Once a year, and usually in March, I take and drain it. I'll put the fish in a tank. I put a fire hose in here, squirt everything out. I'll put a pump in. At one time, before I started doing that, I would get a little string algae and stuff, but I haven't taken any string algae or anything out of there. If somebody were to say is a water feature high maintenance, medium maintenance, or low maintenance, what would you say? Water feature part is low maintenance. I'll get in there probably twice a year and clean the lights off because it's got lights yep. all down yep. in there. Yep. You know, the just algae. clean a little bit of algae off them or whatever. Other than that, I really don't have to do anything with it. It's uh, been pretty maintenance free that way. Certainly the more plants you get, the more stuff that you're, you know, doing that. We enjoy that. I mean, if you, yeah, if you didn't like planting flowers and stuff, you wouldn't. But my wife and I spend a lot of time out here and uh, you can tell it's a it's a great I mean not working we spend a lot of time having a glass of wine and whatever how is nature's recreations to work with they're the best I actually was thinking about doing this myself originally you're in the side business mm -hmm. I have employees and equipment and whatever so I went looking at other guys stuff to get ideas so many of them are like somebody dumped a pile of rock and let water run out of it kept running into something going wow this whoever did this is an artist coming back to the same 
guy. Every time I would ask who did this, it kept coming back as Chris. There's no way that I'm gonna let a little rain stop us from seeing these magnificent water features. Chris does fantastic work. I can't believe that I get paid to do this job. If you like this stuff, and I don't know how you could not love this stuff, like, comment, and subscribe, and follow along so we can show more people what Ponds Done Right, customers served like, looks like, and what living the Aquascape lifestyle, oh no, that's Team Aquascape. Is this part, Greg, what's like the pond, Gary? No, it says Ponds Done Right. Oh, I got the wrong shirt. This is an amazing property, an amazing yard, cool guy. Hey, even though it's raining, we're not gonna let that stop us. You don't have to watch this in the rain. You can watch this in the comfort of your own home. But I gotta tell you, this is so worth it. I can't wait to see the next stop. I was at this pond two years ago swimming. You guys are in for a real treat because this is a beautiful backyard, recreation pond, regular house. Regular house. Okay, and a phenomenal, phenomenal backyard. <laughs> Look at this. It's paradise. Hey, why do we ever need to go on vacation when we've got this in our backyard? Look at this. Look at that water. People are dog people. Yeah, lots of doggies here. So Chris, this is actually a recreation pond that you put a salt system in. The homeowner actually wanted to have two systems here. One was a koi pond that was naturally filtered. They wanted the fish and the plants. The other homeowner said, I want to swim. And this was an old pool that was failing, heaving up out of the ground. They said, but we want it to look like it was all designed at one time. So I said, hey, we can do that. Um, we're gonna have to work with uh, our manufacturer to talk about maybe some options on the, the salt system because we haven't had much experience with it, but it actually came out working perfect. Water quality is just phenomenal. Everybody that we show this feature loves it. They all want it. One of those one-offs, but it works. You know, and the design of this feature was supposed to be all as one feature, and the way that we tied these together, I think it works seamlessly with what they were trying to achieve. One eye. Look at him. Total cutie. <laughs> Here's a cool thing. They actually said that the sun heats up the rocks and it's like a natural heater for this uh, recreation pond. That's awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. And what's neat is that this is a hardworking couple. They've literally spent their money to vacation at home in this backyard. Why don't we start with the pond over here? Yeah, so this is why we were originally called in to this project. The homeowner had built their own pond five times. Started with a cattle trough. Um, turned into eventually a liner pond that had um, just some dinosaur egg cobbles, you know, in there. Couldn't step in there, it fell apart. No real good filtration, bottom pump, big, big problem. And she was just tired of messing with it. She rebuilt this thing so many times. And we came in, we bid out doing this. We talked a little bit about the, the swim side of things. 
and literally the day that we came in to do this part of the project, they decided to do this. And yeah. we were like, okay, we gotta switch gears. Because here, you guys. wouldn't have been able to get access to this side off, if literally. you put this pond in. Very tight to get around. I the love the waterfalls here, beautiful. This is their door from their bedroom. Check this out. They walk out onto this porch, step down, and they enter paradise. couple things I love about this besides the fact that it's just magnificent one you have a traditional water garden and then you have a recreation pond sure and then two this is a you don't really need to have a recreation pond with fish and plants if you've got the water garden as well and not everybody's gonna want to swim with fish I don't get it but not everybody is so for someone that doesn't want to swim with fish a salt system like this will work and you still get the best of both worlds because you got the fish and the plants right next to it totally agree and it all looks like it's connected yeah and that's part of the innovation is going around and seeing what these guys are doing, a unique system like this. It's just been absolutely spectacular to see what people can do in their backyards. And if you like what you see, share this video. Let more people see what they can actually have in their properties. Meet cool people like Chris from Nature's Recreations. I love seeing how people are living the aquascape lifestyle. This is so unique. Thanks a lot, buddy, for Thanks this tour. For what, a, what a great time. I just love this stuff.